Architectural landmarks rank among the most precious cultural assets of mankind, preserving the traces of our lives and bearing witness to the changes of history. They are mirrors of the evolving cultures of peoples and countries. Taiwan, located in the Western Pacific, is the gateway linking China and the West. Once colonized by the Netherlands and Japan, in areas of technology, culture, education, and medicine, Taiwan, although a Chinese settlement, has long been exposed to influences from Japan, the West. These hybrid influences can be observed in the architectural styles in Taiwan today. The office of the president shows the Western imperial influence as received by Japan. The elegant buildings in National Taiwan University, located in the capital city of Taipei, also demonstrate a hybrid colonial culture. Whether entering an elegant building that brims with history or an architectural wonder that shines with creativity, students will find NTU a stimulating place to undertake their studies and research. Why does NTU have such a variety of architectural styles? Founded in 1928 as Taihoku Imperial University under Japanese rule, NTU was the first modern university in Taiwan. Developed in the 1930s, the Taihoku Imperial University laid the excellent foundation for today's campus. Having spent a long time in Taiwan studying the architectural styles bequeathed by the Japanese, Dr. Horigome Kenji kindly consented to share his insights into the buildings constructed during the Japanese occupation of Taiwan. The principal buildings and spatial arrangements on campus found their origins in Italy in the Middle Ages. The academic structures were modeled after Roman monasteries with two symmetrical wings to create a ceremonial flourish for the facades. From the 1910s and 1920s, all of the modern universities in Europe and the U.S. found their inspiration in the architectural styles of the Middle Ages. The Japanese colonizers followed this trend. In these buildings, despite the humble look of the main door, the inside opens up a new horizon. The broad axis line that faces the rising sun expresses a sense of imperial supremacy and affirms the ambition of imperial Japan to conquer Southeast Asia. Professor Luo Tong Bi commenced study for his bachelor's degree in science in Taihoku Imperial University in 1926. He is one of the very few surviving scholars who experienced that era. His memory bears witness to NTU's history. After the Second World War, Taiwan's government encouraged the development of agricultural technology. Meanwhile, the public buildings in Taiwan from the 1950s to the 1970s swung between nationalism and modernism. Such was the background when Zhang Zhao Kang designed and built the Agricultural Exhibition Hall in 1963. The rectangular box-shaped design sets a tone of discreteness. The highly detailed design aims to create a lasting image that is calm and solemn. 
It preserves the humility of traditional Chinese structures amid the expressiveness of modernism. If Zhang Zhao Kang's agricultural exhibition hall is the landmark at the western point of the campus, its counterpart at the eastern edge should be Wang Da Hong's first student activity center. Wang also designed the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall and won the 13th National Award for Art. He studied architecture at both Cambridge and Harvard universities. Deeply influenced by the West, Wang was adept at selecting elements from both East and West. The dozen or so buildings he designed for NTU include, among others, the Library of the College of Law and the first Student Activity Center, the latter being one of his most applauded works. The first Student Activity Center exhibits a modern-style Chinese architecture that combines both the East and the West. The tall gates at the front and back speak an Oriental language. The front door is covered with dark red paint with black door frames and golden door locks. The parvis and the hallways inside are very much oriental in character. Libraries are the heart of a university. The old NTU library, built during the days of the Taihoku Imperial University, could no longer accommodate the increasing demand for books and journals. Consequently, in 1982, NTU initiated a plan to build a new library. The new NTU Library, located at the geographic center of the campus, opened to be a new campus landmark in 1998. Its style is based on the old library, as evidenced by the design of arched windows and arched doors and hallways. The lobby is four stories high, exuding a sense of magnificence and light. The NTU Library is the treasure house of information and knowledge for students. NTU commenced comprehensive campus planning in 1980 when NTU President Yu Zhaozhong formed a campus planning committee to coordinate campus planning and improve upon the old unsystematic ad hoc approach. Planners hope to formulate a set of design criteria aided by the practical input of campus users. In 2001, NTU retrieved its land along Zhoushan Road. From that year, efforts to revamp the campus really started to pay off, as evidenced by the development of Looming Square. Not only NTU faculty and students, but also local residents enjoy visiting Looming Square on Zhoushan Road. The outdoor activities alongside Eco Pool soften the harsh lines of Royal Palm Boulevard and realize the ideal that a university enclave can co-reside with local communities. Such was the ideal advocated by the Green Life Hallway in this area. The environmental re-engineering along Zhoushan Road has been very well received by campus users and sets a great example for future development of the NTU campus. The architectural styles of buildings constructed during different periods of NTU are sturdy testimonies to the spirit of their times. It is our responsibility to preserve the most representative buildings, but we need to keep up with the times and continue to instill new life into campus architecture. In recent years, NTU has been actively retrieving its lands along Zhoushan Road and in Gongguan. Newly completed structures include the Sports Center, the Center for Condensed Matter Sciences, the Life Science Building, Environment Research Building, the Second Student Activity Center, the Second Building of College of Management, TSMC Hall, and the New Chemistry Research Building. There are also several new structures that were funded by prominent alumni, such as the Dutian Building, Berry Lam Hall, and Mingda Hall. 
as well as the College of Law's Tsai Lecture Hall and Wentai Research Hall. Private initiatives include Changxing Street and a BOT project for student dormitories on the Shuiyuan campus. Future projects include the Instruction Building and College of Social Sciences designed by the master Japanese architect Ito Toyo, as well as the Medical Center for Cancer Research and Biomedicine Research Building, both donated by Guo Taiming, chairman of Foxconn Group. As we move forward, NTU campus planning will be focused on the northeast corner of the main campus, including a special landscape design for the Black Forest. All the above-mentioned new buildings will further enrich the architectural flavor of the university. We must take good care of the old historic structures and plan carefully for future architectural projects, so that the story of the NTU's architectural styles can continue to unfold forever.